Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of ABT News. Today we begin with what is happening in Zimbabwe, where President Emerson Nangakwa recently appointed uh, Michael Reza as the chairperson of Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission. Well, Mr. Reza was sworn in today, that is on Wednesday, and the first thing he said was that he will target uh, seizing process of crime from criminals who have been accused of plundering the country's resources. Well, without mentioning any names, he also said that Zimbabweans need to be patriotic and being patriotic begins with safeguarding and not abusing the country's resources. Let us hear him as he speaks. I, I was trained in asset forfeiture and money laundering. I went to South Africa, I went to Botswana, I went to Malawi, all uh, taking training in that aspect. And that is uh, something that is dear uh, to my heart. I intend ensuring that the figure that was set by Zaki, we will not only achieve it, but God willing, we will surpass that figure. We are going to ensure that uh, uh, criminals are disgorged of the process of crime must be known that crime does not pay. Well, uh, what I want you to do is and I have my own timeline, but what I need to do, because I've been appointed in the media court, what I'm going to do is to sit down uh, with my officials whom I have yet met, we we'll sit down, we we'll plan, and then we have that. Uh, the president spoke about loyalty in appointing you. Yes, is as a chairperson. What would you tell Zimbabweans about being honest to themselves and to their country? Um, it, it, uh, it is a no-brainer. Everybody must ensure that uh, they fight for their country. We have issues of corruption. And you know what corruption does to a country. I have said this in other uh, conversations. The only persons who can stop corruption are Zimbabweans ourselves. We have the obligation to ensure that we fight against corruption. We cannot wait for other people to come from other countries to teach us how to fight corruption. It can be done, but like I have said before, it's like an Eskimo singing God bless Africa. The music may be sweet, but it's meaningless. We have to do it ourselves as Zimbabweans. We have to shun corruption. We have to say we are not going to do corruption, and we have to mean it. Well, that is Reza. But many people are still skeptical because most of the people that have been fingered in doing corrupt activities are members of the ruling ZANU-PF party, which... President Mnangagwa is a member of and presides over. And it is telling that the president, in appointing him, mentioned that Mr. Reza has been very loyal, which means that he's not going to break any ranks with what has been considered uh, impunity in terms of dealing with corruption, especially by members of ZANU-PF. The main reason being people have accused President Mnangagwa's government of lacking the willpower to rein in the corruption which has hemorrhaged the country's resources over the past 44 decades. Over well over the past four decades.